If your front marker light on your aftermarket 2015 plus style GM tow mirrors operates as a turn signal only, watch this video to add running light using Boost Auto Parts dual function 1.0 harness. This video was filmed on an older truck, but this procedure applies to all GM tow mirrors with the 2015 to 2019 style mirror head. This module adds the running light feature to aftermarket signal only mirrors. The module enables the front marker light to illuminate as a dim running light and a bright turn signal. For exact fitment, please visit our website at boostautoparts.com. This procedure must be completed with the mirrors off of the vehicle and on a bench. Please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video for door panel and mirror removal and installation for your specific vehicle. This procedure is the same for both the passenger and driver side mirror. This kit includes two orange running light wires, two signal and running light modules, two black disconnect jumpers, and two red T-taps. Place the mirror on a bench and extend it out so the upper arm cover can be removed. Locate this indentation under the upper arm of the mirror, insert a flat bladed screwdriver, and pop the upper arm cover away from the arm of the mirror. Once this side has been popped, flip the mirror over and perform the same procedure on the other side of the mirror, fully removing the upper arm cover. Adjust the upper glass to the fold down position. Using both your hands, grasp the lower glass and pull it upwards to remove it from the mirror. Adjust the upper glass to the full up position. Place both your hands underneath the glass and pry up to remove the upper glass. Unplug the terminals for defrost as well as the connector for the signal on glass. Adjust the power adjust motor to the upper inner corner of the mirror. Unscrew and remove the four Phillips head screws holding the shroud to the head of the mirror. Pull up and out on the shroud to remove it from the mirror head. Unplug the connector for the cargo or reverse light and place the shroud to the side. Unplug the connector for the front marker light and cut off the connector leaving at least two inches of wire. Do not discard this, place it to the side. Taking the orange running light wire provided, disconnect the shorter end of the wire to be ran through into the head of the mirror. This would be the side without the inline fuse. Taking the wire end of the orange running light wire, run it along the mirror harness into the upper arm of the mirror. Continue to run the orange running light wire along the wiring harness into the head of the mirror. Strip the ends of the turn signal power wire, in this case it is a blue wire, as well as the orange running light wire harness. It may already be pre-stripped. Tape or cut the ground wire for the front marker light. In this case, we taped it to the mirror wiring harness. The module has two input wires and one output wire. The orange wire on the two wire side is the running light input. The blue wire on the two wire side is the turn signal input. The orange wire on the single side wire side is the output wire. Crimp the orange running light wire that was ran through the mirror to the orange input wire on the two wire side of the module. Crimp the turn signal power wire coming from the mirror harness to the blue input wire on the two wire side of the module. If you are unsure which wire is turn signal power, you can plug the mirror into the truck and test for power with a test light or multimeter. Strip both wires on the front marker light connector. Crimp the power wire on the front marker light connector to the orange output wire on the single wire side of the module. Take the black inline splice from your kit and crimp it to the ground wire on the front marker light connector. Plug the front marker light connector into the front marker light. Taking one of the T-taps tap to the ground wire for the cargo or reverse light on the mirror. Make sure to place the wire in the metal portion of the T-tap, then close it. If you are unsure which wire is ground, you can plug the mirror into the truck and test for ground with a test light or a multimeter. Plug in the quick disconnect on the black inline splice to the T-tap 
tap to the ground wire for the cargo or reverse light. Using a heat gun, heat shrink all of the butt connectors down to make watertight seals. Place the module in the mirror out of the way of the shroud. In this case, we placed it next to the stabilization guide. Plug the cargo or reverse light connector back into the light. Pull the wires for the signal on glass and defrost through the shroud. Pull up on the power adjust motor skirt and reinstall the shroud onto the mirror head. Make sure the shroud does not pinch the power adjust motor skirt. Screw in the four Phillips head mounting screws for the shroud. Plug in the connector for signal on glass, as well as the terminals for defrost into the back of the glass. Making sure the signal on glass wires and defrost wires are out of the way, press down the glass onto the power adjust motor, reconnecting it to the mirror. Snap the lower glass back into place on the mirror. Snap the upper arm cover back into place. Make sure that the running light wire is ran along the harness and out of the way of the upper arm cover. Push the mirror back together. Do not pull the additional slack on the orange wire out of the mirror. If you pull any slack out of the mirror arm, you may have issues when extending the mirrors. Reinstall the mirrors onto the truck. Run the long end of the orange running light wire through the door into the truck to a suitable running light tap location. Please reference the description below for the tap location specific to your year of GM truck. Plug the connectors for the orange running light wire together. Just like that, your installation of your Boost Auto Parts aftermarket signal and running light 1.0 harness is now complete. You can now reinstall your door panels. Your front marker lights should now illuminate as turn signals and running lights. To get all the parts shown in this video, please visit our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.